Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another special edition of Miracle Boy Boxing. I'm here to talk to you about boxing, strictly boxing, like always. Happy New Year to everyone. Hope everyone is spending it well with their families and uh, with positivity. And uh, hopefully everyone has a blissful 2023. Uh, the topic today is the upcoming fight between Amanda, the real deal Serrano, against Erica Cruz at 126 pounds. The fight will be, the winner will be crowned undisputed 126 pound champion. Uh, Amanda Serrano is the unified champion at 126 pounds. She has all, all the belts except for the one Erica Cruz had, which is the WBA title. So Erica Cruz is in the way of Amanda becoming undisputed. Uh, and same I can say for on the other side of Erica. Erica needs to beat Amanda in order for her to become undisputed. She already has one strap. She beats Amanda. She goes with all the marbles. And when you look at this matchup, stylistically, it's a, it's a tremendous fight. Uh... Amanda likes to come forward and bang it out, same way as Erica Cruz, bang it out. Uh, both aggressive women, toe-to-toe -to -toe type of women. Uh, you know, Erica Cruz, Mexican style, uh, and Amanda fights that way as well. So, and it's also Mexico versus Puerto Rico. It's, as we all know in boxing, it's the biggest rivalry in the history of boxing. Uh, if not one of the one of the biggest uh, storied rivalry there, uh, go down the list of Chapo Rosario against Chavez Senior, Cotto Margarito, Juan Mad Ponce de Leon, uh, Oscar De La Hoya against Tito Trinidad. So many, so many. I could be here all night, but this is another chapter in the women's division. And uh, Amanda, the real deal surround against Eric Cruz, has the makings of a fistic firefight. If you, if, <laughs> that's my way of putting it. Because these two women are coming, are going to come to fight. They're not going to come to look pretty, to look pretty, be cute. They're coming to throw punches, in punches. Uh, Amanda, st let's start with Erica Cruz first. Erica Cruz is the WBA champion at 126 pounds. And she will be defending her strap against Amanda. Of course, Amanda will be defending her four other titles that she has. Uh, Erica Cruz, not too much about, I don't know, not too much much about her, but I've seen her fights. Uh, she comes, she, she brings it, a lot of punches, uh, comes forward. You know, her record is 15-1, and one, three KOs, not much of a power punch based on the record. But uh, she she's a she's a game she's a game woman. Uh, she is the WBA champion for a reason, uh, and she's earned her spot to be here against Amanda, the real deal Serrano. Uh, on the other hand, we got Amanda, who is who really needs no introduction whatsoever. But I'm gonna give it to you, Amanda, 42 win, 43 wins actually. Two losses, one draw, 30 knockouts. Oh, yeah. She is one of the hardest hitters in, in women's boxing history uh, and currently uh, a true pound-for-pound -pound fighter, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in women's boxing today. Will no doubt go into the Hall of Fame one day. She's already have her legacy. If she was to retire today, Amanda his place in the Hall of Fame is already secured. But she's still active, trying to add more, more and more to her, to her, to her legendary uh, legacy already. Um, the only women to win seven, nine world titles in seven weight classes. Seven weight classes. So. We're talking from 115 all the way up to 140. Uh, she's, bro she's broken records. 
She's she's ha she has the record for most title wins in women's boxing history with nine world titles. Like I said, uh, she she is one of the she's a very talented boxer. In this fight, to me, Amanda is the the better boxer, better technician, the better puncher. Um, the only way I see this fight really being even if both women stand in the pocket. Um, Amanda Amanda is the better boxer, like I said. She can box Erica, make it a little bit, little easier. But Amanda has that, that, that instinct and that, that tendency to get in the pocket and, and trade. And, if that, and that's likely is going to happen because Amanda does not shy away from a firefight. And when that happens, both of these women are going to go in and display a, a firefight unlike any other. It's going to be a great fight. I know Amanda's going to try to box. She's going to, she's going to use her technicality, her, her jab. And Erica Cruz is going to come forward, trying to mix it up, trying to make it a rough fight. And it's going to get to a point where somewhere in the fight, Amanda is going to stand and, and, and trade with Erica. And that's where this fight is going to get really, really interesting. Uh, Amanda is the harder puncher. She's a sharper puncher. She's a better boxer. But Erica Cruz is the WBA champion and she is here for a reason. She's earned her spot to beat, to, to fight Amanda. Um, in boxing, anything can happen. You know, everyone, everyone, anyone that steps into a square circle has a chance. She is the underdog in this fight. Eric Cruz is the underdog in this fight. But like I said, anyone has a chance in boxing. All it takes is one, one shot. Uh, so if Erica Cruz can come in as the underdog and and knock off a, a future Hall of Famer in Amanda Serrano, hats off to her. What a huge, huge win that would be for her. And uh, definitely I'll give her props for that. But it's not going to be easy. Because Amanda, Amanda's been around in this game a long time. A lot of experience. Have faced a lot of great fighters in her in her, in her career. Uh Recently coming off of that Katie Taylor fight, split decision loss, uh, fight of the year, one of the greatest fights in boxing, in women's boxing and boxing period. Uh, some say it was a really close fight. It was a really close fight. Some say she lost. Some say she won. It was a really close fight. Uh, she's <laughs> her and Katie Taylor sold out the Garden never before in the history of boxing. Two women sold out Madison Square Garden and made a million dollars each. That's, that's insane. So, but Amanda's coming off her decision win against Sarah Mafoon. Uh, she was 11-0, beat another, beating another undefeated fighter. And, and she won by unanimous decision on that fight. So she's coming off a win. Into this, she's coming into this fight with a win with some with the momentum again, and yeah, it's gonna be a should be a tremendous fight. Um, I'm looking forward to it, of course. Can Amanda be Can Amanda beat Erica Cruz to become undisputed champion at 126, or can Erica Cruz top the top of the legend and take Amanda's straps that she has? The rest of the marbles and become undisputed 126 pound champion and we, like i said it's mexico and puerto rico versus puerto rico so it's a big deal <laughs> it's a big deal already so when you add mexico versus puerto rico it becomes even a bigger deal uh, so we'll see happens on february 3rd in brooklyn new york at the hulu theater at madison square garden uh Amanda's going to have the hometown advantage. Got the crowd behind her. Uh, Erica Cruz is coming to spoil the party. That's her. That's the game plan. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's been a pleasure, guys, talking to you.
As always, Miracle Boy Boxing. Have a good night. Thank you.